Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we'll discuss about hypothesis testing. So yung focus ng video lesson na to is to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. Hypothesis testing, it is a decision-making process for evaluating claims about a population. It's also a physically testing and assumption that we can make about a population. A hypothesis is an assumption or conjecture about a population parameter which may or may not be true. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung uh, conclusion na pwedeng ang maging result, it may be true or false. So, here are some example na pwedeng masagot using the hypothesis testing. Does the mean height of grade 11 students differ from 66 inches? Is the proportion of senior male students height significantly higher than the senior female students? So, itong dalawang uh, halimbawa na to, so pwede natin to masagot using the hypothesis testing. So, inuna muna natin yung key concept about null and alternative hypothesis. So, kung paano tayo mag-formulate ng null and, and alternative hypothesis. So, pag sinabi natin null hypothesis, it is denoted by uh, this symbol, H sub O, okay, or H sub zero, sa ibang book. It is the initial claim. So, kapag nagko-conduct tayo ng research, so as a researcher, ito yung unang claim natin dun sa research natin. Okay, so kapag nagko-conduct naman ng research, ang laging tinitest dyan, yung null hypothesis. So, yun, lang, yun naman yung laging tinitest dyan. It shows no significant difference, no changes, nothing happened, no relationship between two parameters. The null hypothesis also is the independent variable has no effect on the dependent variable. So, madalas class na ang gagamitin nating symbol for null hypothesis is yung symbol for equality. So, ano naman yung sinasabi nating alternative hypothesis? So, alternative hypothesis, it is denoted by H sub A or H sub 1. Sa so, ibang book, ang ginagamit nila is H sub 1 or H sub 0. So, it is the contrary to the null hypothesis. So, tatandaan natin na yung alternative hypothesis, so, kinokontradict niya yung null hypothesis natin. Okay? It shows that there is significant difference and effect change relationship between a parameter and a specific value. The independent variable has an effect on the dependent variable. So, ano naman yung mga symbol na ginagamit natin for alternative hypothesis? So, yung not equal, greater than, and less than. So, mamaya, para mas madali tayo mag-formulate ng null and alternative hypothesis, so, tatandaan nyo yung mga word na ginagamit kasi ito yung mga word na pwede nyo ma-encounter at gawin yung clue para mas mabilis nyo ma-formulate yung null sa ka-alternative hypothesis. So, ano ba yung mga uh, word na madalas gamitin tapos anong symbol yung gagamitin natin? For null hypothesis, so gagamitin natin yung symbol yung equality symbol or yung equal sign. So, kapag na-encounter natin yung mga salitang equal to, the same as, not change from, and yung is, so, ang gagamitin yung symbol class is yung equality symbol or yung equal sign. So, kapag alternative hypothesis naman, ano yung mga symbol na gagamitin natin? So, una, yung not equal. Okay, so, not equal. And then, kapag na-encounter nyo yung mga salitang different from, change from, not the same as, so ang gagamitin yung symbol ay not equal. Greater than, so pwede it, ito ay ginagamit rin for alternative hypothesis. Greater than, so greater than, above, higher than, longer than, bigger than, increase, at least. So, 
kapag na-encounter nyo yung mga salitang to, greater than, yung symbol for greater than ang gagamitin natin. Less than, kapag ito naman yung mga na-encounter nyo yung salita. Below, lower than, smaller than, shorter than, decrease or reduce from, at most. So, kailangan class, mapamilyarize uh, kayo sa mga words na to and kailangan makakabisado nyo na ito yung mga symbol na gagamitin. Kapag na-encounter nyo yung mga salitang yan, ito yung mga symbol na gagamitin natin. At saka, dapat alam nyo na itong mga symbol na to ay for alternative hypothesis at yung equal sign ay for null hypothesis. Okay, for example, the average age of a bus driver in Metro Manila is 38.8 years. So, we're going to state the null and alternative hypothesis for each statement. So, ano yung clue natin sa statement number 1? Okay, so yung word na is. Okay, ibig sabihin, ang null hypothesis natin, ang gagamitin nating symbol ay equal. Okay, so equal. Ang tawag natin dito, kasi nire-represent natin ganito siya, di ba? So, ito is for na, uh, ang tawag natin dyan, that is the null hypothesis. Symbol ito for null hypothesis. At ito naman, population parameter ang tawag natin dito, right? And then, ito yung equality symbol. At ito naman yung, yung 38.8 years, that is the value of the population parameter. So, ano ngayon yung alternative hypothesis natin? Okay, by the way, class, Pwede natin ilagay yung sagot natin for null and alternative hypothesis into symbol. Or pwede naman in words, no? kung gusto nyo in words. So, pwede rin naman in words or in symbols. So, again, ano yung value ngayon ni alternative hypothesis natin? Kung dito equal, so again, tatandaan natin na kapag alternative hypothesis, kinokontradict niya yung Null hypothesis natin. So, kung equal dito, so, sa alternative hypothesis natin, not equal. Okay? So, ang gagamitin yung symbol is not equal. Next. The average number of calories of a low-calorie meal is at most 300. So, ano yung clue natin? Yung word na at most. So, yung at most, ang symbol na gagamitin natin dyan ay less than. At si less than ay for alternative hypothesis. So, ibig sabihin, yung alternative hypothesis natin, yung symbol na gagamitin natin is less than. So, the population parameter is less than 300 calories. So, kung less than dito, ibig sabihin, yung null hypothesis natin equal to 300 calories. Tatandaan nyo, class, ha? Tandaan nyo yung mga salitang ginagamit natin. Baka mamaya... At most, tapos ilagay niyo siya sa null hypothesis natin. So, magkabaliktad yon So, tatandaan natin na yung at most, ilalagay natin. Yung symbol na gagamitin natin dyan is less than. At yan ay for alternative hypothesis. Another example. The school record claims that the mean score in math of the incoming grade 11 student is 8.1. The teacher wishes to find out if the claim is true. She tests if there is significant difference between the batch mean score and the mean score of student in her class. So, kagaya ng uh, ginawa natin sa previous slide, so, hanap tayo ng word na yung clue natin. So, that is, yung mean score daw natin is 8.1. So, yung word na is so, dito, uh, i-represent natin yung null and alternative hypothesis natin in words saka in symbol. So, sa dalawang in words and in symbol. So, first, yung null hypothesis natin since yung salitang word ay is, so, the mean score of the incoming grade 11 student is 81. So, kung ang ginamit na word dito is yung salitang is, so, ibig sabihin sa alternative hypothesis, yung gagamitin mo ay yung word na is not. Okay, lagyan mo ng not kasi nga, sabi ko, 
yung null hypo ah, yung alternative hypothesis natin, kino-contradict niya yung null hypothesis natin. So kung is dito, dito is not. In symbol, so equal dito sa alternative hypothesis natin, not equal. Okay? For example number 4. A social worker want to wants to test okay, a significant level of 0.05 whether the average body mass index of the pupils uh, under feeding program is different from 8.2 kilograms. So, ano ngayon yung ano natin? Clue natin dito. Yung salitang different from. So, kanina, di ba, uh, pinakita ko sa inyo yung mga salitang yan. So, anong symbol ang gagamitin natin for different from? Not equal. So, ibig sabihin, yung alternative hypothesis natin the average uh, uh, the average of BMI no the average BMI of the pupils under feeding program is different from so in, ito ay uh, ilagay natin yan sa alternative hypothesis natin so kung different from ang ginamit natin sa alternative hypothesis natin ano ngayon ang gagamitin nating salita o yung gagamitin nating word for null hypothesis natin? So, ang gagamitin natin, yung salitang not different. Okay, so kung dito different from dito sa null hypothesis natin, not different from 18.2. Okay, so in symbol, so in symbol, that is equal yung symbol na gagamitin natin. Dito sa alternative hypothesis natin, not equal. So, different from 8.2 kg, so not equal yung ilagay natin. Okay, another example. A DTI representative wants to test at 99% confidence level whether the average content of soda X is less than 330 ml as indicated in the label. So, dito, ano yung ano natin? Clue. Yung salitang less than. So, ibig sabihin, less than yan, sa alternative hypothesis natin yan ilalagay. Tama? So, the alternative hypothesis, the average content of a soda X is less than 330 ml. So, kung less than ang ginamit natin sa alternative hypothesis, anong gagamitin natin ngayon sa null hypothesis na word? Okay, so kung less than yung ginamit natin, anong gagamitin natin dito? So, pwede yung not less than, no? pwede yung not less than, or pwede yung equal. Kung kabalik na rin less than, that is greater than. So, pwede yung greater than or equal. So, depende sa inyo class. Pwede nyo kahit alin doon, pwede yun. The average content of soda X is greater than or equal to 330 ml. So, pwede nga, sabi ko kanina, pwede rin na not less than okay not less than so in symbol dito sa ano natin null hypothesis natin so uh, pwedeng greater than or equal so sa alternative hypothesis natin so yung less than na symbol okay so ganyan natin uh, ganyan tayo nagpo-formulate ng null and alternative hypothesis Uh, tatandaan nyo to kasi ito yung unang-unang step pag na gano'n na tayo uh, gumawa na tayo, nag-test tayo no? ng isang problem using hypothesis testing ito yung unang step kailangan mag-formulate i-formulate nyo muna yung null and alternative hypothesis okay, test yourself so kayo naman so habang binabasa ko pwede nyo sagutan In 2015, it was recorded that around 34% of the population in 2015 were not married. A researcher surveyed a random sample of 500 couples, so he found out that 18% of them were living together but unmarried. Test at 5% significance level if the current percentage of unmarried couples is different from 34%. So, State the null and alternative hypothesis for its statement. And for number two, 
A chemist invented an additive to increase the lifespan of rechargeable battery. The said additive will extend on average the battery lifespan to 48 months. Alright, so what do you think is the answer for number 1? So since na, uh, meron tayong clue word dito na different from, so ibig sabihin, yung uh, alternative hypothesis natin, okay, yung alternative hypothesis natin, so ano ilalagay natin? Okay, so kung different from dito, so pwede nang hindi nyo lagyan dito, pwede nang gumamit kayo ng salitang word na is, okay? So the unmarried couple is 34%. So, yung alternative hypothesis nyo, pwedeng the current percenta uh, percentage of unmarried couples is different from 34%. Okay, so is, pwede rin, uh, pwedeng yun rin dito, uh, tama rin kapag ang nilagay nyo dito is not different. Okay, halimbawa ang nilagay nyo dito sa null hypothesis nyo is not different, so tama rin yun. Sa number 2 natin, so anong sagot natin dyan? So, yung null hypothesis nyo, so, is, okay, kasi wala naman tayo mga ano, na symbol dyan, no? So, is, so, ibig sabihin, yung alternative hypothesis natin, not, is not 48 months, okay? Again, so, yung null hypothesis natin, the average lifespan extension of rechargeable battery is 48 months, yung alter, uh, alternative hypothesis nyo, the average lifespan extension, of rechargeable battery is not 48 months. Okay, for number 3, a medical trial is conducted to test whether or not a new medicine reduces uric acid by 50%. So, ano kaya yung null hypothesis natin dyan and alternative hypothesis? So, sa null hypothesis nyo dyan, that the new medicine can reduce uric acid. Yung isa, the new medicine cannot reduce uric acid. Okay, so number four, we want to test whether the general average of student in math is different from 80%. So, nandiyan naman yung salitang different from, so madali na yun sagutin yun, no? Na ilang beses sa, I think, pangatlong example to na gumamit ng different from. So, yung null hypothesis natin, the general average of student in math is equal to 80% or pwede nyo gamitin din na is not different from, no? Is not different from 80%. And then, the alternative hypothesis, the general average of student in math is different from 80%. For number 5, we want to test whether the mean height of grade 8 student is 58 inches. So, nandiyan yung word na is. So, the mean height of student is 58 inches, yung null hypothesis natin. And then, yung alternative hypothesis natin. So, the mean height of student is not 58 inches. Okay? So, I hope na uh, naintindihan nyo kung paano tayo mag-formulate uh, ng null and alternative hypothesis. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.